<clears throat> what is going on, YouTube? So, I got something to say, and I'm going to say it. I don't know where you guys get the idea that I'm this low cow, but I'm not. I'm not some low cow for your fucking sick, twisted enjoyment. I'm really not. I'm not this low cow that you guys claim that I am. I got brought into this scene unwillingly by a very sick and twisted individual who clearly doesn't have a good grasp on his life at all whatsoever. This individual is not somebody that I'm going to mention because I want to try to get away from this individual as much as possible. And that person knows who he is. And I'm not going to mention him because he doesn't deserve the clout. I got drug into this lol cow community by a very sick and very twisted person who is not all together in the head at all whatsoever. This person is very sick, very twisted, and very fucking evil. I understand that there's things that I've done that I've said that are wrong and not okay. But there's something that you need to understand. I was put in a position to where I basically was forced to fight back. By any means necessary. And I'm sorry, but when you fuck around with what's mine and you fuck up my career that I've tried to build for myself since 2009 and you do shit that is so far out of line that it affects my real life, I'm going to come after you in any way that I can. If you got a channel and I'm able to get up on it, I will do whatever I can to shut you down. And that's exactly what I did to this individual. I got him shut down by any means I possibly could. And my shirt says this. My shirt actually describes this situation perfectly. Which is actually part of the reason why I wore this shirt today. By the way, shout out to the homie that actually sent me this, dude. I fucking love this. But it's true. You fuck around with my friends or my family or my career, you're going to find out how quickly I can get you shut down. Like I said, I am a fucking musician, okay? I am a music artist. I am a fucking music artist. I've been doing music since 2009. And you know what? You know what's really sad about YouTube? It's half you motherfuckers that are up on here talking shit about me are toxic as fuck. You're just a bunch of brainless, mindless zombie robots that do nothing but talk shit because you yourselves are so fucking lazy as content creators that you would rather fuck with somebody else and bully them and make them suffer for your own enjoyment. All because you think that drama and somebody raging out is funny. When their lives are being put in jeopardy. And it's not funny. It's fucking stupid. 
And I know that people are going to have their little shithole opinions about me, which is fine. I really don't give a fuck. Okay? I genuinely don't give a fuck what hateful shit people say about me. I don't fucking care. People are going to have their bullshit-ass opinions that are just that. It's their fucking bullshit. People always coming in, acting like they fucking know me. You know, y'all trolls, y'all people that are sitting here trolling people like myself and everybody else, you guys are toxic as fuck. You guys have made YouTube a toxic place. Hell, you guys have made social media toxic as fuck. Because you want to be fucking friends and run your fucking mouths like you know shit that you don't, dude. Yo, Money Gang, what up, dude? But yo, Money Gang, tell me I'm wrong, dude. Tell me that this troll community ain't fucking toxic. Like, in your own words, are these people that are doing this shit not toxic as fuck? Exactly, Musty. I agree with that comment, dude. A thousand percent, man. A thousand percent, dude. Like, I definitely agree with that comment, Musty. For real, dude. Like, why can't we all just stop the bullshit, get the fuck along, and help each other out? Because, dude, back when I first started as a streamer and as a content creator on YouTube, we were about helping each other out. We weren't about bullying people. We weren't about fucking around and making someone feel like shit. No. We were about helping each other out. We were about having each other's backs. How's my content now lazy? Because I actually put effort into what I do. I actually try to entertain my people. I actually try to help them out. Incorporate parts of my life into the stream. By taking situations that I've been through or that I've dealt with or that I've gone through. And I incorporate it, say, if I'm doing a cover show. I incorporate that into a show to relate to people that might be going through the same shit because I've been through a lot of bad fucking shit. Hang on, y'all. Let me switch the camera angle here. There we go. Sorry, they all had to switch the camera angle around real quick. Tim Rain, what are you talking about, dude? I got my shirt, I got my cross necklace, my Mjolnir necklace, and my Oni mask charm, but I got some tambourines over there that are buried underneath a lot of my music gear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, that's I got two of those. Which were sent to me by a fan actually. Hang on. There we go. Though like for real though. Like, and I'll be honest, like, when I first started out,
when I first started out on YouTube, I started out wanting to do dance videos. Hang on. I hate my camera. Work, bitch. Thank you. But when I first started out on YouTube, I actually did do dance. I actually enjoyed it. But what made me want to stop entirely is the fact that I got forced to do it by somebody like, well, you know who. And I'm not going to mention his name because that motherfucker don't deserve a goddamn lick of clout. Because by speaking his name, I'm giving him clout and I'm not about to do that. Why? Because fuck that guy. But he ruined it for me by basically forcing me to do it. I didn't want to do it on an all-time basis like that. The whole dance thing, that was more of like, that was a side thing for me. That's not what I truly wanted to do with my life. Like, Marty basically took something that I did, and he ruined it. I'm just going to flat out say it. He took what I enjoyed, and he basically ruined it for me. Which is why I'm no longer interested in doing it, period. And I understand that I'm good at it. I get it. But I'm more than just somebody that dances. I'm more than somebody that just dances, dude. Like, come on. I'm an artist on all levels. I do artwork. I do music. I produce music. I produce beats, instrumentals. I do vocal work, I play guitar, I play piano. Like, I do all kinds of shit. I'm not just, you know, this person that people think that they can push around. Because I'm not that person that can be pushed around anymore. I'm that motherfucker that if you fuck around with me, you're going to find out how serious I am. Because I'm not going to lie, that asshole basically ruined a good chunk of my life. Seven years worth of my life were wasted on worrying about this fucking douchebag. And as a result of that, I've lost friends. I've had to cut off family members. I had to put my whole life on fucking hold. My whole life had to be put on hold because of this guy. My whole life. Seven years of my fucking life had to be put on hold because of this guy. Which is why I haven't put out any fucking music in God knows how long. And it fucking sucks. Like, I've literally had to waste seven years of my life worrying about some fucking douchebag on the fucking internet. Do you have an idea how fucked up that is? I think about that. Imagine having to spend seven years of your life worrying about what some asshole's going to do. Because he wants in a position to where you can't really do much. That's been my life for the last seven years.
That has literally been my life. I've lost opportunities, jobs. I haven't released anything in over fucking four years. Even though I fucking want to so fucking badly, I want to start releasing music again. Like, y'all don't understand how frustrating it is to want to release music, but you're not able to because some fucking dumbass on the internet always stealing your shit. And getting the copyright to it. That shit is so frustrating. And it, it pisses me off. Because I know that a lot of you guys want to hear my music. I know a lot of you guys actually do relate to a lot of the songs that I put out. Because I speak on real fucking shit. I talk about real fucking issues that I have dealt with. I talk about real fucking subjects that no one else talks about. I speak from experience. I talk about certain periods in my life of shit that I've dealt with. And I draw upon those and I write songs and I release them. And a lot of you guys have actually asked me, like, dude, when are you releasing more music? And the, the answer to that question is, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be releasing new music. It fucking sucks not being able to release music. Hold on. Let me read this one. Hang on. If I could change one thing, what would it be? That's actually a very valid question. If I could change one thing right now, it would be me not being able to do what I want to do. If I could change that to me being able to go back to my old days and releasing music and releasing my own merchandise, I would. I would change that in a fucking heartbeat, dude. I would. If I could go back and change the fact that I got banned from Twitch and that I'm not able to release music or clothing or anything like that, I would change that in a fucking heartbeat. I really would. Like, I would change that so fucking fast. I really would. Like, that is literally the one thing that I would change. Because I know what I'm capable of doing. And a lot of other people have witnessed what I'm capable of doing. Now, if you were to ask me if there was two things that I could change, first off would be the one that I mentioned. And the second one would be making it to where people like Marty and his little friends can't fuck with me. Those are the two things that I want to change and would change if I could. Is me not being able to do my shit like I want to. And Marty and them doing what they fucking do to me. If I could change that, I would do that in a fucking heartbeat. I would change that at the drop of a fucking hat. I would pay millions if I could. To change all that. Because let me tell you, man, my life has been altered and fucked up in so many ways that it fucking sucks. Like, it sucks being in this position. Well, right now, dude, I'm not able to play guitar because I need to get a brand new cable for my guitar. I need to get a new USB 
uh, a new guitar to USB cable. But once I get that, I will be back in business for doing guitar for sure. Dude, I don't have an acoustic. All I've got is my electric. If I had an acoustic, yeah, I would, but I don't have an acoustic. I have an electric, dude. My acoustic one that I had got busted up a few years ago. And all I got left of that is the backing to it. Which I am going to be putting up on my wall as soon as I can. But. Like I said, man, I really do want to get my life back. I want to take back my life and change that shit so bad. Like, y'all don't know how badly I want to get my life back. How badly I want to do better. For myself, for my friends, for my family, and more importantly, for you guys. For y'all motherfuckers that want to see me do good. And I get it. There's a lot of people out there that don't want to see me do good because they want to continue to laugh at me or whatever. But fuck them. For all y'all that don't want to see me do good, fuck you. I know what I'm worth. I know what I'm capable of doing. I mean, come on. I literally took a genre of music and I fucking... I literally mastered that shit and made it a million times better than what it originally was. I created a whole ass subgenre of EDM music. And I've released two dubstep albums back to back. On top of releasing a pop rock song and several other songs in the process. And, you know, people can say that I'm canceled all they want, but that's that's false. You can't cancel me. I'm literally the number one dude on the planet that you cannot fucking cancel. Why? Because there are no brands. It's just me. You can't cancel somebody that runs their own shit. My music, my brand, my stuff. Everything I do is done by me. I do my own music. I write my own lyrics. I do my own artwork. I create my own merchandise. You can't cancel somebody that does their own shit. You, you just can't do it. There's no labels to cut me off. There's no brands to cut me off. So, there's no canceling me, motherfuckers. I mean, you could try, but you will fail. I mean, y'all trolls are the same motherfuckers that try to cancel Tom McDonald. And in trying to cancel him, you only made him more famous. Not saying that much, not saying that the trolls that go after me try to cancel him, but I'm just saying all the fucking internet trolls tried to cancel Tom McDonald and look what happened. The motherfucker blew up even more. And I'm just speaking facts. Well, 
I'm on the fence about that. Like, just speaking from a classic point of view as somebody that grew up doing artwork the traditional way, I do agree with that. But also, if you're trying to put out an idea for, say, an album cover, and you don't really have time to sit down and sketch it out and draw it out, and you don't have money, and you want a really dope-looking album cover, doing AI artwork, in that sense, is actually not a bad thing. Because there's been a few times where I've had to do that because I don't have time to, you know, sit down and draw out the artwork because I'm, I'm always doing shit. I'm always busy. I'm either helping out my family, working on my channel, coming up with content, writing music, or doing something to where I'm always busy and I don't have time to pay anybody. So I take a few minutes to sit down type out a few ideas for artwork cover designs and album cover designs. And yeah. So like, I definitely see the benefits of it, but I also understand where you're coming from too. I do understand a hundred thousand percent where you come from. And I do agree with it because a lot of my cartoon designs that I do, a lot of my graffiti characters are done by hand. And then are sketched out and done digitally on the PC. I take, I sketch them out, I scan them onto the computer, then I ink them out on PC and I do all the filling in and all that stuff digitally. So I definitely agree with that. You can't replace hand on artwork. You, you can't do it. But I also understand I understand the interest and the intrigue of doing AI artwork when you're in a tight bond or a tight spot and you don't really have time. I understand, you know, where that would come in. A thousand percent. Oh no, dude, I don't do that shit. Dude, I've sat here and literally done live production of live streams where I show that I've done everything myself. Now, if I'm trying to get an idea, I'll pump out, you know, some AI inspired ideas. But like, I won't like be like, oh, this is a song I made using AI. No, like if I'm stuck and I need an idea, I'll pump out a couple ideas through AI to kind of get that spark going and then I'll go in and I'll go from there and I'll bounce ideas and produce ideas based off of what, you know, I just heard or something that, you know, that the AI had produced. And then from there, I'll take that idea and I'll bring it to life that way. And, like, I understand that AI is, like, this whole new wave of technology. But at the same time, you can't beat humans. It's impossible to beat human production. Like, you can't do it. Or you can do, like, in, like one of my friends over in Australia. Not Australia, but one of my friends over in the UK does. And I love what he does. He'll take... Yo, White Fruit Ninja, what up, dude? Welcome to the stream, man. But what he'll do is he'll take and he'll produce a song through AI. But what he'll do is he'll rip the vocals out of that song, trash the instrumental, and he'll chop out the vocals... And throw them into his stuff. Like he's smart with it. Honestly, White Fruit Ninja, 
Not for a very, very long time, man. I'm not going to be doing that for a very, very, very long time. Because like I was telling people earlier, dude. Marty ruined that type of content for me. He ruined that for me. Like, he ruined me enjoying that kind of content and making that kind of content. Like, if you were to go back, and this is why I wish I had some of my older channels up. But if you if you were around back then in my early days, like you could see how much I enjoyed it. Like you could see that there was a clear difference between back then when I enjoyed doing it and when I enjoyed making it compared to now. Now I don't enjoy making that kind of content. Because that kind of content got ruined for me. Making that kind of content got ruined for me. And I have no interest in doing that kind of content anymore. Because a certain individual decided to come in and try to force me into that lane that I didn't want to be in. It's not that I let him do it. He basically forced me into a position where I was basically being made to do that content to protect my family. And that's the thing. He based, he doesn't, what people don't understand is this. When it comes to Music Biz Marty, he doesn't want to see me do music. He doesn't want to see me do gameplay videos. All he wants to do is see me dance and make him laugh. That's all he wants. He doesn't care about what's, what other people want. Because you got to remember, this dude comes from a silver spoon fed family. This dude comes from money. He's never had to work for anything in his life. His dad's a famous orthopedic surgeon. And when I say famous orthopedic surgeon, this dude literally travels the world and gives surgeries in several other countries and gets paid big dollars to do so. But he works on high profile names and celebrities. That's the kind of thing that Marty comes from. So growing up, he's never had any kind of repercussions for his actions. His family's always been there to be like, oh, it's okay, we'll sweep your problems under the rug. He's never had to deal with the consequences of his actions. And believe me, that's what I'm trying to do, man. I really am trying to focus on that. But in order to be able to focus on that, I have to solve this problem, which is Music Biz Marty. Because him and his two friends, Edward Boy and William Glory Hole, are a major, major problem that I cannot avoid. I am unable to avoid them because of the things that they do to me, my family, my friends, my channels. They do things to put themselves in my way to where I have to worry about it.
Like, they literally put themselves in my way to make it hard for me to do anything. And it sucks. Yeah, to be 4K, what do you mean don't accept the lies of ghosts? Who are you talking about? And to be honest with you, me as a human being, me as a human being, as a good-hearted person, I will not stand for or allow I cannot allow somebody like Marty to be on this platform. Because I always said, and I was always taught this, that whenever you see something going on, you speak up and you do what you can to stop it. And as a content creator, it's partly my responsibility to make sure that people like Marty and his friends that are on YouTube don't have a platform to speak on. Which is why I'm currently working with YouTube to try to get him and his friends shut down. Because it's partly my job as a content creator, as being a person on this platform and an employee of YouTube, it is partly my job to make sure that this platform stays as safe as possible. And if people like Marty and his friends, they do not make it safe. They make it dangerous. I want to see people thrive. I want to see people succeed. I want to see people be able to do good with their lives. I want to see content creators succeed. I want to be able to see people succeed. If you're a content creator, you are partly responsible for helping to keep the platform safe. Because if you see something going on and you're not speaking out about it, you yourself are part of the problem. If you're seeing something going on and you're not speaking out, you are part of the problem because you're allowing that kind of stuff to go on. Because me, I always stand up for people that get bullied. I always stand up for people that get bullied. Because I myself, when I was in school, I was that outcast kid. I was that one that everybody picked on. I was that one that everybody bullied. I was that short kid that everybody made fun of. You know, that quiet kid in the back of the class. And we've all had these kids in our schools. If you were in high school around my time, y'all remember that kid that was in that was in school in the back of the class that drew anime all the time, that was an outcast that everybody bullied? Yeah, I was that kid. I was that kid that everybody thought that they could push around and go after for no reason. 
I was that kid. And I'm sorry, but I refuse to let these motherfuckers get away with what they're doing, especially when what they're doing is illegal. Because what they do is very illegal, and I'm not about to let them get away with that shit. I'm sorry. I care much about the YouTube platform to let that go unnoticed. Because there's people out here committing crimes like what Marty and and we're blowing William and all their friends do. I'm sorry, but somebody needs to take a stand and step up and say something. Because I've watched way too many content creators get fucked over by people like Marty on a daily basis. And I'm not about to fucking let that happen again. Not with me, not with any of you guys in the chat that are content creators yourselves. I'm not about to let that happen. Like I told Marty in my last video on my main channel before I got a strike on it, I will not stop speaking out against what he does. Because what he does is highly illegal and it needs to be stopped. Which is why me and some of my friends are working together with YouTube to try to bring him down. Along with his friends. No, he didn't get access. I got a strike on my channel is what it was. Because I spoke out and I spoke the truth. And they decided to do a strike on my channel for bullying when it wasn't bullying at all. It was me speaking the truth on what they were really doing. And they struck me for, I guess, bullying or some shit. So now I'm not able to comment and or do anything until next week. Which is fucking stupid. But like I said, I want to focus on myself again. I do. But sometimes you have to be willing to put others before yourself. And that's one thing that I learned from my dad being in the military growing up. You always put others before yourself. Always. That's the kind of person I am. I put YouTube... And this platform as a whole before myself. By me fighting against Music Biz Marty and what they do, I'm putting this platform above my own happiness. Because I care about this platform. I want this platform to be good like it used to be. I want to see people succeed and do well in life. Which is why I put this platform above myself. Because by me fighting against this shit, you know what that shows? Do you know what me putting this platform above myself shows, dude? That shows that I'm taking a stand and that I care about the future of YouTube. That's what that shows, that I actually care about the future of this platform. And that I actually care about what's really going on. 
That's why I do what I do. Because I actually care about this platform. I want to see people. I don't want to see people go through hell like I went through. I mean, well, let me ask you this. Uh, to uh, what? Uh, to whatever your name is, Fezzi. Let me ask you this: How do you think it's gonna be in two or three years? Or actually, fuck that. How do you think it's gonna be in ten years, twenty years, in ten to twenty years, when you have kids and they're on this platform? And they get bullied because nobody took a stand and said something and spoke up. You're going to have no one else to blame but yourself, dude. Because if you're not speaking out against what they're doing, then you yourself are part of the problem. Because you're staying quiet, you're not addressing the issues. And you're being a little bitch by not saying something. I mean, you call yourself a man, but what kind of a man stays quiet when he sees something wrong going on? I mean, what kind of a man sits there and puts himself before his own family? You got to think about your family, dude. Stop putting yourself first. Put your future kids and your grandkids and their kids and their grandkids. Put them before yourself. Because what happens if they get on the internet one day on YouTube and they decide, hey, I want to do this for a career? And what happens if they run into somebody like Marty? Think about that. What happens if they run into somebody like Marty or Edward Boy or William or Jay Sins or any of these trolls that are out there? And you'll be at fault because you didn't speak up. Me, I'm out here speaking up, trying to help people like you, man. I'm trying to make it a peaceful place for people like you, myself, everybody in chat that supports me. I'm trying to help make it a peaceful place. And I get it. I'm just one dude. I can't do it on my own. I get that. But God damn it, I will do whatever I can to help. Because at the end of the day, if it means making YouTube a better place, I will sacrifice my happiness. I will sacrifice myself. I see, that's the thing, man. You don't know that. What if one day they change their mind? What if one day your kids turn around and they change their mind and they decide that they want to be content creators? Because I'm tell you, there is a very viable market in content creating. And like I said, man, what happens if one day later down the road they change their mind? Because let me tell you, dude, when I was in high school, I wanted to be a mechanic. I went through all the classes. I did everything. Graduated the classes. Did everything I needed to do. But look what happened. I ended up becoming a content creator. Things change. People's minds change, dude, all the time. And I'm just saying, man, one of these days, I guarantee you, I promise you, I stand by it. Your kids will end up changing their minds about being content creators. I guarantee you this. I promise you this.
And the reason why I can't go for it again, dude, is because by the time I graduated, they were getting rid of the program in my high school. So I wasn't able to get my, uh, the stuff or the certificate to say, hey, I passed this class. Because the day that they were shutting that class down was the day that I finished. And they basically cut off that program to where, yeah, I wasn't able to get my completion certificate. So if I really wanted to do it, I would have to go to somebody else, go to a trade school and relearn everything all over again. And it would be a pain in the ass. Like I said, I can weld, I can fabricate, I can paint. Like, I can do all that shit. I can change tires, brakes, brake discs. I know how to, obviously, I know how to change air filters, oil. Like, I know how to do all kinds of shit. But like I said, the reason why I don't do it is because that class got cut from the program by the time I was getting out of it. So that's why I'm not able to go back in, why I wasn't able to go back in. Plus, doing that trade would be very expensive. And I'm not about to go back down that road. If anything, if anything, once I relearn, well, once I reteach myself a lot of my old school art skills, once I redo that shit, because I do need to relearn and like I do need to relearn a few art skills that I used to have that I kind of forgot over the years. But once I do that, I definitely do want to get back into to possibly not saying for sure, but possibly either doing tattoo work or doing digital artwork again and putting it on merchandise. Because I do have a few designs that I did a few years ago on the computer uh, digitally that I would like to turn into merchandise. But there again, like I said, in order to be able to do that, I have to get rid of the problem. And that major problem is Music Biz Marty and his friends. Like, in order to be able to, you know, in order to be able to pick up my career again, I need to get rid of this massive problem that I'm dealing with. I can't just run away. I can't just run and act like this shit don't affect me because it does. So in order for me to continue my career where I left off, I have to face this problem. I cannot run from it. I will not run away from this issue. I need to sit here and fight it until it is done, until it is won. I don't care if it takes one year, two years. I don't care if it takes until I'm 90 years old and dead. I don't care. I will fight as long as I need to until this problem disappears. Because I'm out here on the front line fighting every day, doing what I can to help you two. Now, like I said, do I want to continue to try to do better like I'm doing? Yes, I do. I do still want to try to escape that bullshit, which I am still working on doing. But at the same time, I'm not just going to sit here and be silent about a very serious issue that needs to be addressed. Because not only does this issue need to be addressed, but it needs to be dealt with. Which is like I said, that's why I'm working with my friends and why I'm working with YouTube to try to bring a stop to all this. As quickly as I possibly can.
because I do want to see people succeed. I want to see YouTube go back to the way that it needs to be, which is being a good place that didn't put up with trolls, that didn't put up with attacks, that didn't put up with people getting bullied. Because it's funny, people act like the whole troll shit doesn't matter, but it does. It truly does matter. And I get it, you know, like, I get it, you know, there's always going to be trolls or whatever, and that's fine. But the ones that are committing crimes, they're the ones that need to pay for what they're doing. Because not a lot of people realize that Music Biz Marty has done a lot of very illegal shit. And I do mean very illegal. Everything from DDoSing me to using, to obtaining my social security number and attempting to use it, to breaking into my family's Spectrum account and adding stuff to the cable bill that we did not add. to ordering stuff in my name, pretending to be me, to falsely reporting us to the internet, to swatting us and almost having me killed at one point. Like, he's done a lot of illegal shit, which is why he needs to be brought down. Now, I'm telling you right now, as soon as he stopped, because we are very close to putting an end to it, hopefully. Once it is stopped, once that shit is stopped, then, and only then, will I go back to doing my regular content. Uh... Now, DDoSing is where somebody takes and feeds your device so much information that it literally disconnects you from whatever thing you're doing. Like, like say I'm doing a live stream on YouTube, right? Say I'm doing a live stream on YouTube and somebody DDoSes me. What they will do is they will feed tons and tons and tons and tons of information to my device to my computer to where it disconnects me from youtube and potentially the internet which marty has done many times i counted at least three four times three to four times i've counted it It's basically an information overload attack is what it is. They attack your device by sending so much information that it overloads the device. That's just the basic outline of what a DDoS attack is. That's not going into full on, you know, detail. Well, like I said, man, do I want to do better? Yes, but I have to take care of this issue first. Because I'll be honest. I'm tired of you guys not being able to get the kind of content that you guys want or the merch that you guys want or the music that you guys want me to put out. I'm tired of y'all not being able to get that. Which is like I said, that's why I fight this good fight. That's why I fight to try to shut Marty and his friends down so that I can go back 
and release music and release merchandise that you guys want. So I can stream and you guys can get the content that y'all fucking want. That's why I do it. Because these guys, if you look at the bigger picture this way, man. To the dude that kept on talking about how, like, your kids aren't going to be content creators or whatever. Look at it this way, man. You want to see me do good. I want to do good. And when they do the shit that they do, they're not just robbing me. They're robbing you guys more than anything. They are robbing you guys of content that you want to see. So if anything, you guys should be more pissed off than I am. You guys should be just as pissed off, if not more pissed off than I am. Because they're not doing this just to me. They're doing this to you guys as well. They're robbing you guys of content that you want to see. Robbing you guys of merchandise that you want to buy. Robbing you guys of music that I have that you guys want to hear. They are literally robbing you guys. So what I don't get is how the hell are you not able like, how are you able to sit there and not be pissed? Because if it were me, I'd be pissed as fuck. If someone was robbing my favorite content creator of their career, I'd be pissed. Because that would be robbing me of whatever it is that they do. Whether it's music, content, whatever. I would be pissed off. I do this shit because I care about my people. I care about my fan base. Which is why I unfortunately have to deal with this shit. Even though I don't want to, I have to deal with it. I can't just let this shit slide. God damn it. Matter of fact, what I'll do right now is I will end this stream and I will show you guys what I'm truly capable of when it comes to vocal work and all kinds of shit. And no, we can't, Jason. Not yet. But Bear in mind, I am working on that. I am currently working on trying to do that. And y'all, dogfish, happy birthday, man. But as for the rest of y'all, I'll see you guys in a minute, man. So stay here, hang out, peace out, and I'll catch y'all in a minute.